Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Hamza and in today's video, just like every single day, I'm going to go over my portfolio. But before I go over my portfolio and show you guys what's going on there, we just got word that Elon Musk dumped Bitcoin or the idea of Bitcoin to buy Teslas. And this, of course, now I'm looking at the screen right now and this has impacted Bitcoin greatly at the time I'm recording this. Now, Bitcoin will obviously bounce back. And I think the reason Elon gave for this was, in fact, that Bitcoin is not sort of environmentally friendly, right? It burns a lot of uh, fossil fuel or burns a lot and uses a lot of resources. And that's kind of what he's saying, which is why it may not be sustainable. Now, you have to realize that Bitcoin is almost like the US dollar of cryptocurrency. It is the reserve currency or the reserve asset in the crypto space. So that means every time things go south, Bitcoin is really the thing that people flock towards. So if Bitcoin does come down enough, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of buying power, regardless of what Elon Musk and anybody else says. This is, of course, breaking. This is latest news as far as what is going on. And with that, we're going to start with the portfolio. And of course, as you guys can see, we are not in good shape. And this is, of course, a combination of what was happening in the markets today, as well as what is happening with crypto. So what I'm looking at right here is uh, where we opened today, which was at 156, we keep getting close to that $160,000 mark and we just can't seem to break it. The portfolio has been paralyzed and like is exactly where it is for the past two months. So two months out of the year, we've really not made a move. We've been consolidating pretty much going sideways back down to like 145 and then back up to like 160 and we've kind of been in that 145 to 160 range now of course i have made some very successful trades in the time but it seems like the market is trending downwards also sell in may and go away is something that i said in the beginning of may and i of course sold a lot now i have only twenty two thousand dollars of buying power i had twenty five thousand dollars of buying power yesterday and I did spend some of it in the market today. So I am buying the dip, gradually buying the dip. And there are a few stocks that I do have my eye on, like Palantir, like Open Door. I'm liking some of the ARK ETFs right now. And we'll get into that when we get to that in the stock portion of this portfolio. So with that, let's begin and cover the entire portfolio. Now remember guys, if you guys are enjoying my content and you follow me, remember to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It would really help me out and mean a lot. And let's get back to tracking the day. So we started at 156, ended the day over here. If you look actually at 137, that is when the news kind of broke where Elon decided that Bitcoin was a pump and dump. In my opinion, I think it would be really easy for Elon to pump and dump Bitcoin using this. I wouldn't be surprised if now we come ahead and see that Tesla no longer has any more Bitcoin and Elon probably dumped it at 55 or 56 or close to 60,000. If that is the case, that would literally be the easiest pump and dump for Bitcoin historically. Elon Musk could have done it single-handedly. Now, I'm not saying that he did, but if he wanted to, he has that much influence. His fear of influence is so strong that all he has to do is make a comment like Doge. Remember Doge when it hit 0.72? Now, Doge could go back up, but right now it is struggling and trending downwards. Anyways, so with that, the portfolio is currently sitting at $142,000. That is not looking good. And remember, guys, the reason I make these videos is because a lot of people on YouTube like to talk smack and like to show you guys that they make a lot of money every day. But I'm just a guy like you. And I want to show you guys that sometimes you get trapped. And I am exactly that, right? I'm trapped. And I know that a lot of you are trapped in some of these stocks. And all we can do is hold. Because I started this challenge exactly when the SPACs were high and the growth stocks were doing very well. That's where I invested 90% of my money, as you guys will see. So we are where we are, but I'm here to tell you that it is okay. We are starting to see more volume in the market and we are starting to see strong rotation back into SPACs and growth. Now, I think June is going to be a better month. I'm writing off all of May for right now. I don't really see an opportunity to make crazy amounts of money. Now, of course, if you guys were swing trading or day trading, I think today was actually a good day. There was a lot of volatility in the options market. There were a lot of puts. Uh, placed in the market today as well. So that is something that we need to take into consideration. Now with that, let's quickly go over what's going on with our portfolio. I added today and I actually sold out of was I bought ExxonMobil calls that I sold out of uh, profitable and I also bought Oxy calls that I then sold for a profit. Now I decided to sell because I would rather hang on to cash 
rather than be in options for a long term. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm buying options and selling them on a daily basis in order not to hold on to them for a very long amount of time. With that being said, however, I do have Palantir 50 calls for January 21st of 2022. I do think these calls are going to do well. I don't have too much money invested in them, so I'm not too worried about it at this point. And I do think that next month is going to be a huge reversal month for a lot of stocks, including Palantir. And with that, I'm quickly going to go over what my stock portfolio looks like. So, of course, we have our long-term holds right here, all the ARK ETFs. They're all down roughly around 15%. Ooh, we have one here, ARK W, that is down 17%. That's a big one for us. I actually thought that I was buying these at the bottom. Obviously, I was wrong. There was a little more to go. Now, what am I going to do here? I actually do plan on investing a little more money into this portfolio, which means I am going to be putting a little more cash into it in order to buy some more ARK ETFs. I also want to buy Palantir. I'm looking at BNGO and NNDM, and I am going to be looking to buy some more of BNGO and NNDM. Now, another stock that I'm aggressively looking to buy, but I am waiting for it to gap down because I think it may, is Open Door, and we'll get to that in just a second. Clove, VGAC, SRPT, all in the red, and as you can can see some of these are like 37% down, 34% down. Obviously, if I had thought that this was going to happen when I started this portfolio challenge, I would have created much tighter stop losses and then decided to kind of cut my losses very early on, which I didn't do. Like Excel Fleet over here, I'm losing 75% in the stock. That's quite a lot. And finally, we have a little bit of green. MBIO is green. This is one of my day trades that I trade almost every day. GSAH, we're waiting for that merger. Tesla, I actually did buy some at 585, but it is still in the red because I believe I was cost averaging with another share that I had bought in the 600. So I don't know what my average is. Let's actually quickly click on this and see what my cost average is on Tesla. So Tesla, my cost average is 628. And this is how I bought those to come to 628. So I bought a stock at 672 and then I bought another one at 585. So not too far off. I feel like Tesla still has a little bit of room to go down. And with those Mercedes EVs coming to the market, those things look absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I think those things are going to give Tesla a run for their money, especially with the Model X, S, and even with the vans that they're coming out. I saw a picture of the Mercedes EV van, and that thing looks phenomenal. Anyways, going back down to the daily trades, MU, Disney, MSOS, Open Door. Like I said, I'm really looking at open door and skills, in fact, and I want to buy some more when I feel like the market has dropped a little bit. Now, this is what my portfolio looks like when it comes to crypto. We are down quite a bit. So Ethereum, we are down quite a bit. It did take a little bit of a hit. Bitcoin, we're only making 8,157. Doge, we're actually losing money. And so we're losing about $8 in Doge, which is not too bad. However, I do think that it may be a better idea to hold off before I buy some more Doge for this portfolio. Now, I do plan on buying a little more Doge, um, but I am going to hold off and see how May runs its course. I do think that June is definitely going to be a better month. I do think that there's going to be a lot of buying opportunity in May. Historically, May has been an underperformer, and I'm kind of looking forward to buying the dip at the right time this time. Hopefully, we're going to wait. We're going to be patient. Even if we miss the bottom, as long as we can catch it on its way back up, I'm going to be more than happy with putting more money down into this portfolio. So yeah, guys, once again, this is what my portfolio looks like. I know today's update was a little later than usual, but it's very important for me to put these updates out there to show you guys that the struggle is sometimes real. We're going to get through this. Like I said, I don't think things are going to happen in May, but June is definitely going to be our month, and I think this portfolio is going to turn around. And with that, my name is Hamza, and I'll see you guys next video.